Welcome to a video from the dislife.com, new Windows 11 build to look at. This is 22538 for Windows Inside on the dev channel. And um, there's a few nice little changes to this. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is the uh, widget's entry point is now down here instead of being an icon here. Um, that was introduced a few builds ago, um, but now it's rolling out to everybody. So um, it's a bit like the Windows 10 version. So you can see the weather all the time on there. That's that's quite good to see. Microsoft up updated the voice input access. I can't show you that because my recording equipment is kind of would, would interfere with it. But there's just some new controls for doing uh, uh, voice. You can do like show keyboard, high keyboard, and you can actually get it to. You can actually use, use a virtual touch keyboard on screen and things like that. Something else that's changed is the Alt Tab. Um, that now uses, as you can see, a little border on there. That now uses the um, Windows highlight color uh, that you've got in the settings to to show that. And the same thing happens with uh, Snap Assist and and Task View as well. So it looks like that. And I should show you as well the Alt Tab. Um, that was introduced in the previous build as well. If you notice, it's not a full screen blur on the desktop now. It's just that. Uh, it's just that X section around there. There's been some input IME uh, changes as well um, on the lock screen. Um, it's not available to everybody yet. So an updated uh, keyboard when you're on the lock screen. You can do the language switcher options, which is good. Um, there's some more speech packs downloading. They experiment with the improvability, improving the discoverability of certain input features in various areas of the OS. So I'm not sure what that means, and it's a bit cryptic. But I'm guessing that they've they've made some changes to the um, input features, and they're hoping perhaps we'll get some feedback from insiders. We, we shall see. Um, I'm not, as, they, as we're not sure exactly where to look. We'll have to wait and see on that. They've added uh, direct access to NCPA control panel, HTTPS boot for Gen 2 VMS, uh, VMs, let's see, Hyper-V stuff. And for PCs that support it, you can now do direct calibration, settings, display, HDI, instead of going to a separate page. So those are all the changes, the most visual one being down there with this. There's uh, quite a few fixes in here. The, if you use the hardware volume, uh, that's the one on the like on the surface on the side that increases the volume up and down. If you hold them down for um, for some for a few seconds on the previous build, it would actually crash it, and they they fix that as well. And uh, they fix some issues where texting settings would be mixed up as well. They fix some issues with cr uh, narrator crashing. Um, they fix some search issues and taskbar issues where the date and time would no longer cut off on the second monitor. They fixed the set an issue here as well where you would have a blank setting on there and that's that's gone as well. Uh, they've also fixed issuing of um, snap groups where you have three or four uh, groups that that would that would crash it as well. There's still some known issues with this, but only a few actually. They've um, They've added one recently, investigating reports of two arrows appearing on for the hidden icon flower in quick settings icon where they may be misaligned. I don't see any issues with that on mine, but that's what they've added. And taskbar may flicker sometimes, um, search may not always open, and the widgets may not show correctly uh, when they're left aligned. So that's it with this, this build. 22538 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. Not a huge amount of changes, but it's nice to see that little uh, weather icon down there that, that they've introduced. You can find out more on our uh, YouTube channel and on the dislifestyle.com.